All right, everyone, I'm here at the front doors of the studio. I'm gonna give you an unedited version of a studio tour today. Um, we haven't been here in over a week. We've been closed because of March break. So the last time I was here, other than a little bit of filming uh, here and there, I uh, mopped the floors and kind of lysoled everything and wiped it all down. So it's left as is. I'm gonna show you kind of a little virtual tour of what uh, CSOD look right. So, all right, so you first walk in and here's our main entrance way. This is where the dancers leave all of their shoes. It can get a little overwhelming because of how many people are here at every any given night. Um, so here is the lobby, you turn to the left. This is where our parents sit, hang out. They can watch the dancers. So we have three TVs that the parents can watch each classroom and what is going on. This is our info TV. So when you, when you play it, it has info going across. If there's any important dates or any cute pictures that we've taken of the students during the week, it's on that TV. It's really cool. This is our lovely bathroom for our parents. We've got a change table in there because we've got lots of uh, young kids. Let's see what else. This is our front desk area. We've got our Lysol right here because we've been using it so much. Actually, it's almost empty. I just bought it about a week ago. Um, so this is where our front desk staff sit. This door should be closed. There we go. And they sit there, they answer the phones, they take payments, and they are your lovely smiling face when you come into the studio. Got a little kids area here. We have tons of siblings that hang out at the studio while our dancers are in class. So this is where they have fun, play around. We've got a lovely um, vending machine full of peanut-free snacks for our dancers. Tons of great drink options. And this one is my favorite. It's my Red Bull. I specifically asked for sugar-free Red Bull in there. There it is. All right, we've got um our coffee station for the parents my favorite artwork designed by miss hope she does all of our chalkboard graphics she's so fantastic at them and this is our coffee station where the parents can have free coffee and tea got a great keurig tons of options we had see if there's any in here lots of starbucks it's wonderful all right oh this one might be a scary room this is where our youngest kids dance mostly um, but this is where all of our props are and everything. Oh, oh, it's perfect in here. So this is our room that's right off to the lobby. We try to have our youngest ones in here if possible so that they can be close to their moms. If they need a little bathroom break, we can just send them out here to their parents and they can take them right there to the bathroom. Um, yeah, but we've got lots of equipment. We've got our yoga mats. We've got all of our mats and trampolines. We've got our music station over there. We've got um, props over there. I can see uh, yoga blocks, tennis balls are all things that we use in our classes. Um, we always have spotlights in our room because when we're dancing, we like to shut the lights off, put our spotlights on. And then of course, our lovely mirrors. All right. We've got our merchandise for sale. We always have a rack here of CSOD items. This is a popular one with our diamond CSOD. And we also have the same ones for Thrive that say Thrive on the back. All right, cutting through here, if you were to come in and turn to the right, we've got Studio B here. We've got more space for our shoes to go. Coming down here, we've got another bathroom for the students. We've got my office, of course. I won't show you that because it's pretty much a disaster. So I'll keep that door closed for now. And then maybe I'll give you a tour when I clean it. That would be a great idea. This is our awesome student lounge. This is where the kids hang out in between classes. Got more cubbies for their dance bags. Got a little lounge area over here where they hang out. And then we have a homework station right here too for them to do a lot of work. This room, it's actually making me sad that I'm in here because it's usually so packed with kids and it's loud in here and I always yell at people to be quiet and now I'm missing it. So um, yeah, this is kind of where the in-between stuff happened. This is my favorite picture, love it. Um, and then over here is a change room. There's usually a uh, curtain that goes up here but it fell off and I need to fix the bracket. So right now this is just an extra area for people to hang out and sit. 
It's usually where I find people sitting and charging their phones with that um, outlet right there. So that is that, and that's where they all hang out. So it's sad because it's so quiet in here right now. All right, we're gonna move into Studio B. I was just doing some filming today. I did a live uh, Instagram video for parents to learn a hip hop routine. So this was kind of my station. Let's see what I got here. I've got my coffee, obviously, cold and hot. We've got our disinfectant. We've got our um, phone holder here. And then I actually had this table on top of the cheese. This is a cheese, if everyone doesn't know what it is, I'll explain that later. Um, I had it on top so that I could film kind of from up high, because sometimes this angle does not look very nice. So we had it up here. I had my laptop playing on this acro mat here, so it was easy for me to get to, and I could play the music without having to bend down. And then in that case, I had to move the speaker and everything off the wall and put it on this chair so everything could reach. So it's kind of disheveled right now, it's what I had to do you know, behind the scenes in order to get that uh, footage live. So, uh, and here we've got some props too. We've got our acro mats. We do a lot of acro in this room. This is an amazing floor for acro. Um, so we do, we have our air track and our long acro mats. We have some ballet bars in here too, trampolines, yoga balls, all that and kind of through stuff. Through here, we have Studio C. This is a room I haven't been in in a while. Um, but we also offer this room for rentals. I love this room because it's open concept. Um, you can get through to the rest of the studio through this door, but when there's rentals going on, we lock that so it kind of stays separate. And they have their own separate entrance right here. You can come in right through these doors. Um, there's a lovely front entrance way that is kind of taken down right now because we haven't been open. It's got an awesome chandelier. Looks beautiful when it's lit up. Um, right now we're in competition mode. Well, we were until we haven't been able to dance for a little bit. Um, so in this room, we have all of our costumes. These ones are lined up, ready to go. These ones need some alterations. Um, these ones need to be tried on. It's kind of our system that we have here. And then that's why my steamer is here at the front uh, door because once they're ready to be bagged, we steam them and then we put them together. Every costume has a head to toe list. It tells you what class it's for, what they need to do, how your hair and makeup is, all that kind of stuff. So my staff works so hard getting this all organized um, and it's so pretty and beautiful. And I wish my dancers could take them home, but, but they will one day, one day soon. All right, so Studio C has its own separate bathroom right here. What up? Same as the other ones, but then we also have a kitchenette in this studio. So if you are having a party, you can, it's being used for storage right now. Um, you could put your cold foods in here. I've seen people have um, like those portable, whatever they're called, oven uh, things you can heat some stuff up if you like we have a microwave but it's in the other room but we also have a coffee maker and a kettle in this side as well we've got our cute little lounging area and then again we've been doing filming in here so that we could get our online classes up and ready so normally our music is in this corner here but right now it's moved to the corner of this area so that it can be out of the way when we're filming but all this stuff is normally right on that wall that way it gives the dancers a big, nice space to see themselves. That's about it. So, that's what we look like on every any given day. Um, it's a little bit more hectic right now because we kind of had to scramble to close down and uh, get ready for March break and make sure we disinfect and clean everything when all this stuff started. But basically, that is your tour of CSOD.